have to wake up. John, get dressed and follow me. Something's not right with your grandma. She's in her room right now. She keeps asking for you and she won't tell me anything else. There must be something important she wants to tell you. Mom, you guys won't be back tomorrow? I can't spend another day holed up in this empty house. The emergency is meeting came up. Your dad and I will have to fly down to New York. Does that mean you won't be back tomorrow, Mom? I'm sorry, John, but it's a very important meeting with your dad. We'll be back as soon as it's over, I promise. When will you be back, Mom? In three days, John. All right, but I'm going on the trip as soon as you're back. We'll talk about it, all right? I'll have to go now, John. We left Miss Morgan with instructions. She'll be around to take care of you. If you need anything, just let her know. Is that okay? Mom, I almost forgot. There's something very wrong with Grandma. Right, take care of yourself. And no funny business Mom, we were with. there's something we'll wrong with Grandma. She wanted to give me her will. alone. John, are you all right? I miss her, Miss Morgan. <laughs> we all do, John. We all miss her. Believe me, I know what you must be going through right now. I know what it's like to lose a loved one in this manner. When my grandmother passed, I was inconsolable for weeks. I locked myself in my room and stopped interacting with people. I loved her just like you love your grandma, John. <laughs> How did you stop missing her, Miss Morgan? I started to hear her voice. I could imagine her always watching over me. She was always with me, inside my head. It gave me the strength to overcome my grief. Our loved ones, they never leave us, John. They're always around. Would you like to hear a story about your grandma? Yes, Miss Morgan. Unlike you, John, I didn't have parents that loved me. So after my grandmother died, I was abandoned in the streets. How old were you, Miss Morgan? A lot older than you. Around 18, if I remember correctly. All alone? I had some friends, but I left them behind when I came down here to work for your grandma. She was a generous lady and had a reputation for helping out the poor and unfortunate. She gladly took me in and employed me as a maid. That opportunity changed my life. She treated me fairly and I'll always be thankful to her. You should be very proud of her, John. Wow. I never knew she helped you out like that. There are many things about this family that you don't know yet, John. Huh? This is her final will that she left for you, John. She wanted you to know. What does it say, Miss Morgan? The history of this manor in your family goes way back, John. Your grandma wanted you to know about something that's been passed down through generations of your family. What is it, Miss Morgan? What does the letter say? 
There's a curse that runs in your family. Did Grandma pass it on to me? No, John. You have until 6 a.m. to save yourself. Then who did she pass the curse to, Miss Morgan? <laughs> John, go! Lock the door! Oh. Are you trying to fight with the Queen of Curses? <laughs> 